Now, our traveller Debbie joins us now, and you have been in the Hawke's Bay sampling, well, their most famous export. Yeah, I have only a drop, I promise. Right. I've been learning about the science and the traditions at New Zealand's oldest winery. You'll see the distinctive White House of Mission Estate from the road. This is the birthplace of New Zealand wine. Paul Mooney has been here three decades. When I first started, this winery was a, quite a small boutique winery, just crushing about 100, 100 to 200 tonnes. And now we're crushing anything between 1,000 and 2,000 tonnes. So we've grown 10 times. <laughs> Mission Estate recently won two gold and a silver at the prestigious Royal Easter Show. So what yeah. makes an award-winning wine? Oh, I think it's probably two things in my book. One is outstanding quality and the second one is distinctiveness in the class. So if you have a wine that stands out and it's, um, it speaks for itself, it's going to stay on its own two legs. So it's about being different. Yes. In 1910, the main building was cut into 11 pieces and moved from its flood-prone location 5 k's to where it now stands. Why the brothers set up shop there in the first place, no one will even know, but um, somebody in the infinite wisdom decided they were sick and tired of getting wet feet and rather than build something different, they cut the building up and brought it up the hill. The contract at the time uh, was labelled as being crazy. The description of crazy has now been replaced with innovative. On the one hand we value our tradition but on the other hand we're very pioneering around our thought processes and the things we're doing. So things like sustainability, energy management plans, um, disease and virus management, those sorts of things we've, we're absolute forefront leaders in the industry. As for accommodation, consider booking the three-bedroom farmhouse nestled amongst the vines. These touches of French elegance are not to Mission Estate's French history. There's all the mod comms though, making this a really great family or romantic getaway. There's bubbles in the fridge and the restaurant and the cellar door just five minutes this way. At the restaurant, ask for a wine pairing. This Hawke's Bay venison rump with a parsley crust, baby veggies, pomegranate seeds and sweet corn custard goes well with the 2015 Mission Reserve Syrah. And you've been here for 30 years. What, what keeps you here at Mission Estate? Every season is different. Mm. You could start with a clean slate. Every year you renew the challenge show and that keeps it fresh. That's an awful job you have, Debbie. Oh, a really terrible job you have. So, so there's actually accommodation at Mission Estate. Yeah, go and stay in the farmhouse. It's right in the vineyard there. And did you notice the spa pool on the deck? Yes, I did. I Wonderful. Did. And a barbecue out on the deck as well, so you can sit under the stars, cook your food. It's amazing. And Mission Estate, that's where they have all the big concerts too, isn't it? That's right, yeah. They have the concerts there. And I really love the way they've really kept in touch with their history. Ask them about the buildings that they have on the property. One of them is where the first sparkling wine was made, so it's lovely. Well, that's worth celebrating indeed. Yeah. I sound fantastic. And you've got a giveaway as well. Yeah, we do. Mission Estate wants to treat three of the cafe viewers to a wine chiller and stunning Mission Estate wine glasses as well. Now, these are the full-size wine glasses that you get at the cellar door. They are a real collector's item. So go to thecafe.co.nz and find out how you want to win that. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. And we will see you again next Wednesday.